by that I mean like uh, Roger. Okay, we're starting round one against Vlad Doro. Let's go d4, knight f3. Um, I'm gonna play b3, bishop b2 here. Or e3 works as well. Let's play bishop b2. Knight bd2. Um, I think I'm gonna play knight e5 here. I've got like a bishop b5 idea, bishop d3 also. Um, that seems a little bit suspect. I think I can take on d7 maybe. Um, let's take. Maybe just bishop d3. I've got a three. I think I'll just play bishop d3 here, though, and just castle. Um, good luck. Have fun. Indeed. Thank you so much. Uh, first round, you always play the person who's second seated. So you'll notice sometimes some of the GMs, they late join so that they get a soft first round pairing. Thank you, Drew W3, for the uh, two month resub. Uh, let's play queen e2. But yeah, the first round, you always play the person who's number two seed. That, that's how it works. I'm going to go c4. Hopefully, not blundering anything. I've got knight c4. Uh, yeah, once again, thank you, Drew W3, for the two month resub. Um, good luck. Hope you'll kick arse like you always do. Thank you so much. Kicking 222. Much appreciated. Um, am I a Tiger fan? Yeah, I was a huge Tiger fan growing up. Uh, he was the preeminent sportsman um, uh, when I was growing up. I mean, it's hard not to. The early 2000s, you know, uh, Tiger was just on fire, winning everything in sight. I mean, it wasn't even the Tiger was winning everything. It's the way he was doing, like hitting these unbelievable, um, these unbelievable chips, these, these unbelievable iron shots uh, from the rough. Like the guy was just on fire. So um, anyway, okay, so let's get back to the game. So far, pretty decent. Threatening to take and win the queen. He goes queen c6. I have f3 or queen f1. I think I'm going to play queen f1. f3 is probably okay, but I don't want to give him bishop c5 with ideas on the diagonal. Not yet, at least. So um, that's why I'm going to go queen f1. I'm way up on the clock, um, so it's looking pretty good. So, okay. So he's he's really, really being slow here, which is kind of... I'm going to play rook c1. Pressure against the queen. I've got e4. I can play bishop b1. Um, yeah, let's just go bishop b1, I guess. Why not? e4 next move let's just take knight f6 knight d6 oopsie daisies my friend um so he takes with the pawn so i can maybe play G oh wait no i still just go e4 and g3 and knight d6 and he's completely toasted i think um let's go g3 or maybe not because on knight g6 knight d6 he can take c1 so it's not quite um uh, i thought it was just winning it's actually not um <clears throat> Okay, so in that case, let's trade. Let's play. Um, I guess I'll play f4. It's a little bit risky, but I don't want him getting knight e5 in here. So now I'll go queen e2. Idea to play queen g4 potentially. Let's make a check. Knight g6, I have f5. Queen h4, hit the pawn. e5 is strong. I've got a mate threat. He's got to go f5. Knight d6. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to play knight g7. And he resigns. So there we go. Good start. Out of the gate with a nice strong win um pretty pretty good so far okay next game should be starting in a second here we go i'm gonna play 2172 this one i want to win really fast so let's try to be super super fast fat girls are saucy sauced indeed um let's play knight c6 probably bishop g4 and e5 if d5 is knight e7 um de i'll just take trade <clears throat> Hikaru makes chess look so easy. Thank you, Dragon V70. It's not as easy as I make it seem. Let's let's be clear on that. I, I, I sometimes I just play very good chess. From time to time, sometimes people can play really well. Uh, let's go Queen C8. I will castle. I'll even pre-move it. Got F5, maybe E4. Let's just go F5 because he has no knight G5. So E4 looks reasonable. Knight E7. I'll just take. <clears throat> Can we get a polar bear, bear, LOL? I don't actually know what you mean by that. So let's play C5 takes takes. Um, I don't know what you mean by polar bear. Okay, so I'm gonna go King F7. Queen F6 is playable, but then he gets like a Rook D7. Um, yeah, let's just play Knight C6. Maybe Rook E8 and Queen E5 looks fine. I think I'll put this Rook here, not the other Rook. Okay, just Rook D7. Queen seven. I want to play. Um, I want to play a good good knight against a bad bishop end game here. Um, I've also got knight b four coming at some point. Uh, let's go b six. Solidify. Put everything on dark squares. If f three, I just take and go king g seven. He goes g four. Um, interesting move. I guess I can just take and play like knight e five maybe next move or just king g seven. Uh, I'll just go king g seven. Looks 
Re reasonably okay. I don't love my position here. I've got one soft weakness. Okay, that's a terrible move. Let's just play knight b4, knight c2. Um, <clears throat> hit the pawn. I've also got knight a1. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Let's go knight a1. I missed bishop c6. Um, bishop a4. Okay, now I go king f6. Okay, now I go knight c2. And now I collect the pawn. Bishop c6. I've always got king e5. a4, knight a1. Just wins the pawn. And that's game over. Let's just go g5. Everything's on dark squares. Everything is nicely protected here. Really liking my position now. Just knight a1. Um, knight b3 next move. And just winning. Um, just go knight b3. Knight e2. Um, knight e1. Maybe knight c3 or something. Knight e1 ideas. Um, uh, maybe just king f6. I feel like I'm doing something wrong here. Let's play knight c3. Now I'll go knight e1. Um, and collect the pawn, knight d1, take on f2. Uh, <clears throat> Wait, so the secret to playing good chess, so that's what I've been doing wrong. Okay, now I just take, and now it's just game over. Um, knight d1, knight e3. We've got g4, g3 coming. Um, g4. Um, all captures win, but... Oh, I can just go king f4. King f4 is simple, actually. This is just easy. Okay, there we go. Just takes and king d5. Make sure he doesn't play e6. Okay, now that's all she wrote. Okay, another one in the books here, I think. Just takes. Okay. Okay, next game. Let's go again. That's two up. Two in the books so far. Good start. Two for two. Um, next game coming up in a second, hopefully. Um... As I was saying, it's important to win games quickly if you can. So you see, I've won two games. First one was two points. This one was good for three. Let's uh, keep it rolling. I don't know why I just played e6. Whatever. Play queen b6. Thank you, Oxford, for the four-month resub. Thank you so much. Let's just take d5 or knight c5. Um, I guess I'll just play d5 here. Got bishop b4. Got a6. Bishop b7. He goes rook p1. I'll play a6. Stop knight b5. Now I just like knight c6. Hit the pawn. The castles bishop b7. Now I threaten to take. No check. No discovery on my queen. Um, bishop b3. Let's just play like rook c8. Consolidate. Knight g4 is an idea. Let's go knight g4. He can't move the bishop without dropping the pawn. Um, what's the tournament structure? It's two points for your first win. Second win in a row, you get three points. Third win in a row, you get four points. And then fourth win onwards, you get four points for every win. So you want to get on a streak of three games or more because you're getting four points for every single win. So I will take, um, I guess I'll just play e5 and take on e3 next move. Those twisted earbuds though. You know, I am going to buy another Bose headphone cord shortly. So uh, don't worry, you guys. No need to lose your minds. Um, okay, this was kind of dubious, actually. I should not have done this. Um... Uh, I guess I'll go queen h6, but I gave him knight d4. Don't really like the position that I have here. But again, I'm, I'm way up on the clock, so it should be okay. I'll play g6, cut off knight f5. Always a bishop e6 if I need it. So, so, so far, yeah, I won two points for the first game and three for the second win in a row. If I win this game, I will get four points and be up to nine. So three wins in a row will be nine points. Um, that's, a, I'll just take. He can't take. Um, I can play b5 maybe. Uh... I'm wondering about b5 if I just castle and jettison it. Um, I think I'm just going to play b5 and like rook c5. Because I've got rook e5 or rook b8. I think rook b8 looks okay. Okay, but now I just go king f8. And if bishop d5, I just move my king to g7. So now he plays bishop b7. Now I'll just go rook c5. He'll take. I'll go king g7 and the game will continue. Um, I set an alarm just so I wouldn't miss this. Uh, that's that's really nice, K Brown 1991. I actually tried to take a nap before this began as well. Um, 94, I can take maybe. Okay, so I can obviously trade and go bishop uh, bishop h4. I can also play rook f8 here, um, but I think I just trade and play like rook d8 maybe or bishop h4 e6 bishop g3 queen d4 doesn't look ideal. Let's play rook d8. Um, queen b7, I intend to play like queen d2, hit the rook and queen d7, something along those lines. Um, thank you, Chris2505, for the, uh, for the, uh, two-month, <coughs> resub. Sorry about that, you guys. 
Um, let's play rook b7, hit the queen. If he takes a6, I take b2. Maybe bishop h4 is an idea as well. Actually, he wants some e6 nastiness that I don't really want to give him. So I think I'm going to play bishop h4 and hit the knight instead. Okay, so I can take and play rook e7. That's my intention at least. So the bishop supports the rook. No queen e5, no queen f6 check. Um, maybe it's queen c8 to threaten a mate, but I think I can just play like rook f7 or bishop f6 back. Um, so it looks, looks fine. <clears throat> Yeah, rook f7 he takes i take back um bishop f6 was also probably fine but i just i figure it's better to get rooks off the board now he's to deal with back rankers he can't play h3 because the knight's under attack as well um so so far it's looking pretty good okay i'll i can play bishop e7 i'm gonna sidestep back to g8 and maybe king g7 with bishop f6 is my idea here he's also super low on time um just king g7 Checking king h6. And again, white's got huge issues. They're, they're, they're mate threats. Um, he can't push the pawn. He goes queen f3. I can take g3. If I take... If queen f8, I have queen g7. If queen f4, I have bishop g5. So it should just be winning. Um, <clears throat> okay, so this is going to be a, a... Well, that's just checkmate. <clears throat> All right, next game. Okay, so three in a row, so you see you guys, I'm up to nine out of nine, so good start so far. We're about 12 minutes in, um, so, so doing pretty well. Pretty, pretty good so far. Because keep 2308, want to win this game fast, so let's play g6, bishop g7. Um, four, maybe, why not? Uh, let's just play e6. Let's just keep this super, super solid here. Castle is going to play h3 at some point, or move the knight. Okay, let's go knight d7. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to win these games really fast. Okay, I'm going to go c5. Actually, c5 is maybe not so good. Although, I can take and play knight f5. Um, let's play rook c8 here instead. Takes knight f5. If takes, rook c5. Um, if he moves the bishop, I take. That's a bad move because I've got knight e3. Now I go rook d5. I threaten to take. I've got knight e3. Um, knight e3 looks good. Knight d6. So let's just go knight e3. Takes. I'll play f5 to remove the knight. And um, then just queen d6. And now h6 is coming next move. Bishop c4, queen c5, check. Um, thank you very much, my friend. That's just going to be a free knight that I win. Um, I can take, but you know what? Let's, let's be super sound and just do it this way. Takes, takes. There's no bishop c4, no pin on the diagonal. And um, now I'm just up a clean piece. He resigns. Let's go again. Four, four in a row. Very nice to get a quick win. He gets 2300 there. Um... <clears throat> all looking all everything is looking up so far so once again thank you to the 1200 people who are watching as well hope you are all having a wonderful afternoon in the big wide world let's play e4 okay 21 10 again i want to win this game fast too let's uh let's get let's 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 get the train going let's just keep on um let's let's just steamroll these guys let's steamroll them and get to like 50 points in the first 20 minutes if we can um Sodaville says, it looks like you're pretty good at this chess thing sometimes i'm good at this chess thing not always but from time to time i do play something something reasonably good um okay let's play bishop c4 maybe g3 i think he's gonna take with a g pawn so actually i'm not gonna go bishop c4 i'm gonna fee on keto my bishop on g2 here um bishop g4 h3 maybe c3 um so yeah so far i mean we're early i'm gonna chuck a pawn here he's gonna take win a pawn i'm just gonna say you know what i don't care you've got bad development you've got an iso pawn here um i just don't care so let's play bishop e2 and just castles and like rook d1 try to play against this weak pawn on h5 long term uh rook d1 is a threat queen b3 is a threat um place h4 let's go rook d1 hit the queen um maybe bishop f4 queen e5 queen b6 maybe just bishop e3 let's go berserker mode just attack 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 wonder if any gms watch my stream a lot of gms do uh most famously um uh, Wesley so watches my stream religiously uh, I've heard that he watches it every time he can um, I know that Jules Moussard the French Grandmaster has also watched my stream a few times I know that Anish well I don't know for sure but I think Anish has popped in as well so um, yeah there are other GMs who have watched my stream let's play Bishop b3 let's just go g4 if he castles maybe I take the pawn if he doesn't castle it's kind of hard um, okay Bishop h6 is actually 
remarkably good move there. Let's play bishop d4. Does Magnus? Not as far as I know. Maybe, but not as far as I know. Um, So he goes short, which is very bold, considering the structure, considering I've got a queen. I'm going to murder him on the diagonals here with my heavy snipers on d4 and d3. Um, oh, Jan and Danya watch too, of course. I forgot about Jan. Jan Napomniachi watches, and so does Danya, also known as Daniel Naradit. Magnus only watches GM Forsen. You know, Forsen actually, he played at a decent level when I did watch. Um, during that that phase when everyone was playing chess um, during, the, during, during the World Championship match and everyone was watching, he did play surprisingly well. I was, I was actually, I'm not going to lie, surpri I was surprised because I figured, like, I know these guys are gamers and everything, but I figured they're not going to, um, they're, they're not going to, okay, now I go queen h5, I hit the pawn, hit the bishop, and I think that's curtains for black. Um, um, but yeah, he played at like a 16, 1700 level, which I was surprised because I figured, you know, all these guys are gamers, but to be good at chess, you have to have actually played it in the past. It's not something where, you know, it's not like me playing, playing auto chess or something where, you know, I can play it for a couple of days and get the general hang of it. Um, so e5, let's just take, I'll take on f6 next move. Let's just trade. I'm actually going to play rook e1 because if it takes, he has rook e8. I don't even care. Queen d6, I'm just going g5 because it's 10. Um, I can also go like rookie four. This looks really, really ugly for uh, for black. Um, okay, plays b5. Um, let's just take if bc4. I have rookie seven hitting the queen, hitting the pawn, um, and he's gonna have to sack. So otherwise, he's getting mated. So um, this should be winning. All right, we're gonna get another game pretty soon. I think he's got 10 seconds, so this is just gonna be over. Um, let's just play f4, takes, queen g5, okay, d3, I'll just take. Somehow, actually, this is not so easy, oddly enough. <clears throat> All right, next game, there we go. Five, five up, five down, up to 17 points. Um, Forcing was 16, 1700 on Lee Chess, yeah. I mean, but during that time period when all the, all the big streamers were playing, I mean, Forson was trying chess, XQC was trying. Of course, my good friend Byron, Byron, um, Byron Bernstein, also known as Reckful, was also playing. Uh, was was also playing. So um, a lot, a lot of those, those big, big time streamer guys were playing, and um, I was surprised. Um, okay, so let's play D5. Um, I have a six. He is twenty five seventy, as I just realized. So I should be a little bit careful here. Um, Go e6, knight e7, or h6, maybe just h6, just to create a square so there are no ways to capture the bishop, knight d7. I think I'm just going to play, I've got bishop d6, I'm going to play bishop d6 and like queen c7 here. e4, I just take, take, okay, but it doesn't actually work. If the knight supports the bishop, if it takes, I go rook g8, um, I guess I'll just play queen c7, takes, takes, um, bishop g7, rook g8, knight e5. Black, white has a serious diag issues here. So I'll just go bishop f5, probably. Okay, he goes bishop g4, but now I think I have bishop e5 and takes an e5, and now I'm just cleanly up a pawn and completely winning. Perfecto mundo. Uh, maybe he is f4, but I still think after knight g6, this has to be just winning. I can shuffle the king over. Um, <clears throat> I also can play queen e7 here. And now I just castle him. Once I, once I get castled either way, it's just... Uh, should just be winning. Let's take. Okay, rookie one. Let's go. Um, let's go. King d7. Knight c4. F6 looks fine. Uh, to cut the square. Rook d1. Just king e7. Okay, king c7 looks good. And now I should win. Alrightio. So rookie one. I can play knight d5. I can also just play rook e8, which looks simple. Knight d5. C4. Knight f4. Rook e7. Looks a little bit unpleasant there. So rook e8 first, and I can plot the knight either square to put pressure on the pawn at f4. Medin versus greetings from South Africa. Hope you're having a wonderful day in, or wonderful evening, I should say. It is rather late in um, in in Joburg or Cape Town, wherever you are in South Africa. Hope you're having a wonderful evening. Hope you enjoy the stream. Um, uh, thank you, Larry Low One, for the four month resub. <clears throat> okay, so trade probably knight a two. That looks like a clean pawn. No c three to trap the knight. Uh, knight e5, let's play, uh, I can play f6, yeah, because on rook d7, I just go king c8, and he has to move the knight, so knight f3, let's just go knight c3, knight h4, I've got knight e4, just knight d5, knight e3 looks good too, um, maybe just g6, support the pawn, c4, knight c3, once I get these bad boys rolling on the queen side, it's gonna be all over for white, 
Um, <clears throat> maybe just c5, hit the knight. Knight b5, I trade. Knight c2. Maybe it goes knight b5. Okay, then now I just go rook b4, rook b3, collect the pawns, and off to the race as we go with the three, three connected pass pawns here. There's no way white's going to be in time to stop all these pawns. So he'll, he'll come rook d6 and get a pawn, but. Again, three connected passers. He doesn't even have a passer yet on the uh, on the king side. Let's just roll, baby, roll, roll. Let's, let's um, maybe just king c6. B5, b4 is coming. G4, I can just take. Um, just take with b5. Or wait, actually no, king d5 is better because he's got a g5. Try to create an out outside pawn over here, so I just come over. B5, b4, just game over. Um, Go a2. <clears throat> c4, c3, c2. Also, is just completely winning. He resigns. Let's go again. Up to 21 points, six in a row. So far, so good. Not much to complain about. Um, perfect start. Playing reasonably good chess, I would say. Um, let's play knight c3. Oh, a 2805. I didn't notice. It's got 2805. So, um, play bishop c4. d3, knight. Um, which one do, I guess I'll play knight g2 because he didn't put the knight on f6 to go knight g4 yet. So um, maybe just knight a4, hit the bishop. Bishop b4, c3, b4. Thank you, Minimal Zen, for the five month resub. Let's just take and play like c3. Uh, bishop e6, I can take. I think I'll just retreat my bishop now. If bishop e6, again, I will take. Uh, now I will castle. If bishop e6, I'll play knight g3. Uh, this is clearly better for white here already. <clears throat> Let's just take two bishops. Very nice. Knight a5. Um, just go bishop c2 thank you uh thank you quas 296 for subscribing to twitch prime uh, i'd like to play b3 it doesn't quite work here let's just go um he wants knight c4 do i have b4 maybe maybe not um bishop e3 knight c4 could be annoying i can also play f4 he really wants to play knight b3 so how do i stop b3 i don't actually have a good way to stop so i'm gonna go bishop g5 bishop h4 thank you to Alden for subscribing with twitch prime um let's take now I think I can play b3 to cut it off. He can't take because my rook supports the other rooks. So he also doesn't get knight c4. Uh, the bishop's closed on the diagonal. Let's just go f3, bishop f2, I guess. Probably I'll play like h5, h4 maybe. I don't know if I like g5. I feel like all these breaks are a little bit slow here for black. Um, uh, is... Wait, what just happened? Am I still here? Wait, what's going on? I'm still here, right? What's going on? Uh, I'm not lagging because the stream's not lagging. Um, I'm here. What did chess.com crash? Chess.com crashed. Ah, okay. So we're we're in crash mode time. Okay. Um. Oh, that's disappointing. Server crashed. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm not going to try to reload. I'll leave it here because, um, um, but yeah, that's, um, the site crashed. Okay. Oh, well. What to do? What to do? It says back up. Is it, should I reload? I'll re I'll try to reload the page. Let's see if it reloads. Um, it's not reloading. not reload they're back why is it, it's not reloading um um control f5 is control f5 right or not it's back for you okay um let's go to google.com okay let's go to chess.com um please wait two minutes what what is this nonsense are you kidding me? Seriously? Like what? Oh, I mean, this is ridiculous. Um, everyone's getting the two minute message right now. Okay. Um, you don't actually have to wait that long. I mean, Okay, um... Oh, here we go, okay. Oh, we're back, we're back. Okay, let's play F3, we're back, we're back. 
Okay, we're back. Let's go bishop f2. Uh, we are back. Um, maybe g4, maybe just king f1. Bring the bishop and the knights into play. Now, now um, I think I will take and go bishop e3 or knight g3. I like knight g3 here. Maybe knight f5. Put pressure. If he takes, I just take back. Okay, so we're back. Now I will play b4. Create an extra square here. Um, looks like bishop e3, bishop d2. <clears throat> put g4, bishop b3. Uh, did he get disconnected or did I? I don't even know who got disconnected because he's really low on time, I just noticed. Um, yeah, we'll take and play rook h1. Takes, like, maybe just a4, b5 looks fine. Takes, um, can I check and, okay, let's just make a check. Let's make a check. Just grab and rook c4 and that's game over. Let's just take. All right, there we go. Next game, um, seven in a row. Oh, it's unlucky to whose move it was. You're right, because it was his move. So when it crashed, it crashed on his move. So he lost like a minute of time. Yeah, yeah, that's wrong. Yeah, yeah, that's wrong. Oh, that's that's not right. That's not right at all. Um, let's play e4, knight c3. Yeah, that's not right at all. Yeah, that that's not, that, that that's fooey. That's fooey. Why didn't I offer a draw? I'm not gonna offer a draw to him. If it was Daniel, I might offer a draw, but my rating's 32-34. I can't afford to be giving draws to 2800s. Like, come on, man. Come on. Let's take. Castle, play D3. <clears throat> come on, 2800s are, are weak. I can't be giving a draw to 2800s. Let's play Queen E1, Bishop B3. Um, Let's go Queen H4, maybe Bishop G5, put pressure. Again, 2300, so I want to win this game quickly too. No F6 because Bishop E6. I'm going to plop the Bishop on F6, double them Rooks on the F file, maybe go Rook H3, maybe sauce him on H7. If I can get my Knight in, that would be even juicier. Um, what's no mercy? Yep, strike first, strike hard, no mercy. Cobra Kai. Let's play Rook F3. Uh, E5 is really bad because this opens up all kinds of problems on the F file now for Black. Um, he also can't play knight a5 because of bishop e7 hitting the queen and the rook. Um, 2800 is weak. I'm talking about blitz, you guys, obviously. I'm not talking about uh, about regular chess. Let's just take um, rook f6. Pin the, pin the tail on the donkey here with this bishop on e6. Maybe knight g3, knight h5, knight f5. Um, bishop d5 looks strong. If take, I take, and then I have rook g6 once the knight moves because it no longer protects the queen and it's a discovery. Rook g6 is gg yo. GG, my friend. Game over. Next game coming up. We're going to be up to eight in a row after this one. Let's go again. Um, thank you, Watorsevic, for the tier one sub. Thank you so much. Eight in a row. Off to a really, really fast start. Eight wins in, like, no time at all. Eight wins in, um, in like, not not even half an hour. We're off to a, we're off to a big, big, big heater so far. Um, all right, next game. Okay, let's play E4. 2364. Let's try to let's try to sauce this guy in three minutes or less. Um, let's play D4. Actually, yeah, let's play knight D4. Maybe just bishop E2 and castles. Am I gonna play a flawless turn? I would like to go perfect. I've never gone perfect in Arena Kings. Um, I do have the chance potentially today. I could see it if I don't if I can somehow avoid playing Lenderman. Um, I don't even know who else. If I can avoid playing Lenderman, I think it is it is actually possible today to maybe go perfect. Oh, I had e6 right away. I'll play e6 now, though. He's got these nice, ugly double pawns on d6 and d5. Um, let's just take and play knight e6. Hit the queen. Let's go king h1. Um, bishop d5 coming next move. Uh, Let's play bishop takes d5. Just grab this bad boy. Take with the queen. Um, knight g5 is coming, maybe. This is pretty ugly for uh, for black. Just a clean pawn. Um, maybe c3. Maybe f5. Um, or let's just be clean. Play bishop d2. Knight g5 is always lurking. It's always in the air. If knight f6, let's just go queen b3. Keep the pressure on the diag. Knight g5 hit the rook. Bishop c3 to undermine the pawn. Undermine the knight um i'm loving i'm loving this position um i've got rookie one i've got 96 coming let's just grab z pawn or not grab z pawn um let's grab z pawn with knight d5 next or queen d5 and knight f7 check coming up next move um queen d5 king h8 knight f7 
check. Let's just play c3. Knight looks fine. It's pretty safe. I can always drop it to d6 or e5. Um, thank you, Jmon0330 for the three month resub. Thank you so much. Um, I'm I'm looking pretty good here, headed on my way to a ninth win in a row, hopefully. Knight d6. If rook d8 is queen e4 check. And then I move the knight, no pins. Maybe let's let's get cheeky with rook d1, hope for bishop e7. Same thing with queen e4, knight f5. Oh shoot, he's g6 here. Oh, he missed it. He had g6, maybe trapping my knight, but he missed it. So it's all good. Knight e3, knight d5, hit the bishop, hit the queen. Let's go queen f3, knight d5. I'll even pre-move knight d5. Bergmeister73 says the card commentates like an auctioneer. And we have the Bishop on F6 going once, going twice for $50. Do we hear $50? Do we hear $50? Let's play Rook D7. Oh, I blundered the pawn on F4. He can take the pawn on F4 for $100. Going once, going twice. Do we, do we have another bidder? Pawn on F4 going for $300. Do we, do we have a bidder at $300? $300. Going once, going twice. Sold to the gentleman with the blue, blue jacket in the back for $300. Um, let's just play something here. I miss playing this. I'll go Queen D1. Um... Four hundred dollars, yeah. Queen e6, queen d4. Hit the pawn on a g7 here. Um, <clears throat> just go rook d6. Now we're coming up with more puzzle rush mating ideas. Um, rook h6 is coming because of the pin to the king on h8. So um, they resigns. Let's go again. Nine in a row, up to thirty-three points. Um, Eric Hansen joined the arena case, but why is Eric joining so late? I mean, he's. I mean, maybe Eric can get to second, but I mean, when you start this late, it's very, very tough. Okay, let's just stick to e5, knight c6. Um, this guy probably is going to be the most likely challenger in terms of a perfect score today. Um, so uh, let's let's play g6 because I mean, I can play the Berlin obviously, but I want I want to try to uh, uh, I do want to try and and win this event as cleanly as I can. Um, knight e7 maybe. This is a little bit like a Shvetchnikov kind of. Let's play h6, maybe b6 if. I'll play b6 here. If d4, I just trade and go c5. I'll go c5 anyway, no d4. This is very much like a Zhvechnikov, actually, what we've reached here. I'm going to castle f4. I'll take and play knight c6. Uh, Diag opens here, so I'm not so concerned about uh, the, the worst pawn structure. g5 and f5. Maybe just g5, f5 next move. Maybe queen d7. Just go f5. Open it wide open. Queen d7, rook f8. Very, very juicy position again. Twitch having an auction feature for chat could be an idea. Ah, that's not a bad idea, actually. That's not a bad idea. Takes, takes. If Rook F1, I can trade. Um, C4 also looks pretty good here. I, I don't know, but let's let's just take and go C4 here. If Oh, but he can take. Ah, shoot. I can't. Oh, shoot. I just blundered. Okay, let's take. Knight D2, I just take, I guess. I mean, ugh. Um, let's just go king f7. I misplayed this badly. Um, but I've got knight a5 maybe. Play knight a5, c5, bishop f5. I can still play for the win probably. <clears throat> okay, bishop f2. Ah, he wants to go bishop g3. Okay, so he's got an idea. Let's play. Let's play um, c5. Fix the pawns. Now I can play like bishop f5, bishop c4. Now if bishop b8, I get knight c6. I'm also going to take the pawn on c2 here. Um, this is still probably drawing with correct play, but um, he's got two minutes. Okay, he goes knight f3, which I, I mean, he wants me to take so he can go knight e5. I'm gonna go king e6 here, get tricky. Cause now he's gonna have to go back to protect the pawn on one of these squares. If he goes to e5, the knight looks nice, but the bishop, the whole diagonal gets cut by the knight on e5. Bishop, whoa, um, now that is a bad move. I know he's gonna go bishop g7 and win a pawn, but there's no, in no world can this be okay for white when I win the pawn on um, on a3. So I take, in no world can this be okay with this 3v2 that I'm going to get over here. Um, so it goes a4, but like, now I can just take and play h5 and it's game over anyway because he can't save this a4 pawn. I'll play a5, knight b2. I've also got an outside pass pawn here as well. Um, I guess just knight b2 looks good. <clears throat> Thing is not to take, because then he gets c4 backwards, opening the diag. So I don't want to take right away. I can always go c4 and then takes, which I think is what I'm going to do. Uh, close the diagonal, um, and this should just be ggo pretty soon. So um, okay, now I go c4, cut the diagonal. Now the bishop has no access to a1. I take, and this bad boy is running all the way down the board to a1. Um, so it should just be gg already. Delicious. Take. V3. 
he takes just knight c5 and this pawn's running this pawn is running the bishop cannot stop it let's just go a5 oh he's got bishop e3 okay um actually yeah I, maybe it's not as clean as i would have liked it to be let's just go maybe knight e6 here if takes a4 a3 should be winning let's go a4 bishop c1 knight f4 and now I can't go king g3 because of knight e2 with the fork. He moves the bishop. I can go knight e2, cut the access point for the king on g3 and bring my own king up. So um, let's just go knight e2. No access. Now the, now my king infiltrates and this should just be winning. Uh, uh, c4 is genuinely instructive. I'm an A-class player and I need to see things like that. Uh, oh, glad I can bring some. Okay, I just take. What is this, my friend? King d2. He's just losing the whole house. I'm going to get three pawns game over let's go again next game um 10 in a row up to 37 points um let's just keep oh paul from siberia or no it's st petersburg ah. paul from st petersburg is actually playing now so maybe he got in late i didn't see his name on the starting list so maybe he's jumping in a little bit late maybe he thought it was starting at a three at four o'clock not not three o'clock um or whatever time that is in uh russia play a4 um, just e5, d5, it take. Okay, it goes a6. Let's put just d4. Takes. Play d3, knight e4. Looks pretty good. Um, going, I think knight e4 makes sense. c3, d3. Um, I've also got like a5 at some point as well. He plays b6. He plays c3. Force him to trade. Um, maybe he can play bishop b7, but that looks like a little bit much. Paul from Sao Paulo, Brazil. <laughs> he does go bishop b7, so this is going to get interesting. Um, d3 is playable. d3 is playable. I don't really like d3. Um, I can play like cd4, bishop here, takes, takes. Um, just got, I want to move quickly, though. I don't really want to waste too much time. So let's just play d3, keep it simple. So takes, takes. Uh, Danny94 says, I watch play chess and think it is easy. I play and it goes downhill fast. Don't worry, man. It's just like when I, just like when I watch Fortnite streams, you know, I, I watch like, I watch like Tfue playing, playing Fortnite. I'm like, ah, it's so easy. Like, you know, it's all good. I can build, do my nineties just like him, shoot people. Then I start playing Fortnite and it goes downhill really, really fast too. So, uh, don't feel bad, Danny94. So I'm trying to undermine the pawn. And now the question is, can I take and play like D7? Um, it looks very, very juicy, juicy. You know what? I can't resist. I'm going to go for it. So he's going to take. I'm going to take. If he takes, I'm going to go d7. Check, and I'm going to take the pawn on c4 and just say, you know what? I've got two pawns. I've got two pawns for the piece. He's underdeveloped. I've got a very strong pass pawn on d7. I can always play like b4. I'm eyeing the rook. I've also got g4 maybe here. g4, or let's just castle. I'll save g4 because he had bishop h4. Oh, but I blundered bishop e7. Uh-oh, okay, let's play knight d3, maybe knight e5. Um, that was a blunder, but it's not... It was a blunder, but it's a good blunder on my part, because I get knight e5, knight c6. Um, this is f6, let's play... f6 is really bad, because now I'm going to support this with a really advanced pass pawn on c6 here. Um, and I'm not really sure how black is going to be able to untangle once I get c6 in. <clears throat> Cause I'm going to get two connected pass pawns for the piece. Um, yeah, it was a good blunder cause it's a blunder that works out. I just go C six. I mean, this is going to be really, really rough for black. I'm not even sure how he's going to, okay. It goes Rook C seven. I can play knight before. I mean, he's, he, he's eyeing queen a eight, I guess that's the idea. I would like to put a bishop on B six. I can't really do that yet. Knight before looks reasonable. Yeah. Let's go knight before if takes, I take. Okay, he goes queen a8 so um let's just go g4 and try to kick the knight here this is a little bit risky playing g4 but i think it's okay um knight h4 i just go queen h3 so he takes so i obviously will take um knight d4 i think i have queen e4 knight c6 and f5 because uh, then i hit the other knight on um h6 so this is very very tricky here for black and i feel like it's very justified giving up the piece for the two pawns so um so I'm, I'm liking it. And so I've got f5, I've got g5, I've got rook d1, I've got b5, I've got bishop e3. f5 looks kind of crushing. Let's just go f5 because it opens the diag. If I get three the triangle of pawns here on c6, d7, and e6, it's game over. Um, and he can't really do it because that's just a free piece that I take. 
I could have taken on e6 too. Um, uh, he's trying to survive this. I mean, it's hard to believe he can survive this. Got fe6. Maybe I, I, sh I should not have done it like this, but it's going to be good enough anyway. Uh, let's see. So if I take, let's just take. <clears throat> play bishop g7. Or wait, he's got rook g8, g5. Oh, did I just? Oh shoot, I just made a mistake. Oh, what did I just do? Okay, let's just, actually, no, I go d8, rook d8, fg6, and I win f6, or h7, game over. I'm an idiot. Uh, it's just cleanly winning. Takes, because I hit the f6 pawn. If he if he doesn't take, I take and make a queen. Uh, he's got 98. Wow, what a move, 98. 98, um, maybe rook d... Um, let's try to get tricky. He's got no time. He's got 30 seconds. Thank, thank you, Tdot, for the sub with Twitch Prime. Although, he can just take and take g6. Nah, I'm... Uh, ah. Okay, he goes rook c8. Um, I really want to make a puzzle study. I want to make a study out of this. Um, with like rook d8, g7. Um, b5 takes a. I can't do it. Let's just let's just be clean. I'm up a pawn, up a pawn here. Cleanly winning. Bad knight, bad pawns. Let's let's not do anything stupid to to ruin the chance of a win here. Um, just a6, a7 is winning. <clears throat> Seven, knight a8. Okay, now I go b4. So put the bishop on c5. Plant it with the pawns. This knight is dead forever. I'm not worried about this. I'll just go h4, h5, h6, h7. Make a queen this way. Now I infiltrate with the rook. Now I win this pawn. Um, now I just take rook seven. Back rank mate's coming. Um, let's just make a check. Uh, let's just make a check. And let's just go rook seven. Takes, takes, and just like rook b8, game over. So rook b8, takes, king f2. If knight c7, just rook c8 to remove the knight. Um, make a queen here. All right, next game, 11 in a row. We're off to a very fast start. 41 points so far, 11 out of 11. Really trying to leave the field in the dust so that we can cruise for the last hour of Arena Kings. I missed checkmate in two. Sorry, sorry. No, rook e7, king f8 was check, you guys. Oh, and we get to play Krikor, Mkhitaryan. Let's play f4, knight f3. Plays d5, okay, bishop d5. Let's just take, play queen e2. Takes, d3, he's got ugly doubles here on c6 and c5. Um, c4, wow. Uh, hmm. I guess I'll play d4. Takes was interesting, but I don't know, d4 seems reasonable. He plays c5, trying to activate everything. Um, hmm. Maybe I should have just taken. Uh, let's get creative and play f5 here. After king f8, the rook... No, after king f8, the rook on g8 was hitting my king on g1. So that actually was a blunder, you guys. You're actually wrong. Um, you're, you're right in the concept of how it should work, but that's not actually what was going on. So let's play queen e2 and take. Um, because rook, rook e7, king f8 is a discovery where it's a check on my king on g1. Um, so it didn't actually work out the way you guys think it does. Take. If takes, maybe just knight d4 and bishop e3. He castles. I can grab a pawn. Let's grab. Why not? Oh, he goes bishop f6, though. Eh. Uh, this is a little bit messy. Yeah, he's got rook e8. Yeah, this game I'm getting a little bit too... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm chilling a little bit too much after that last one. I need to rezone and focus because this is not a good opening. I'm probably okay, but it's a bit, it's a bit meh. Um, let's just go c3, bishop e3, support the pawn. I really want to play rook e1 at some point. Um, he takes, I'll go bishop e3, hit the queen. Um, bishop d4 looks good, try to exchange. Oh, I blundered bishop a6, oh my gosh. But I've got queen f5 and king g1, or king g3. I take and I have king g1 and I'm not mated. Wow, this is another very lucky mistake where I have queen f5. For some reason, I thought I forgot that on bishop a6, if I play queen d2, rook e2 is playable. So I, I made a slight blunder here. Um, but but yeah, okay, I've got to go for it with king g1. And um, king g3 is queen c7. Okay, I just take. And show me the mate, Krikor, because I don't actually see a mate. I couldn't take with the knight because of queen g2. If I get h4, rook h3, I'm still probably worse. But I'm not losing, I don't think. I go rook h3, rook g3. Um, somehow I'm not getting mated. 
If you blunt, if you're gonna blunder, blunder well. That's pretty much my motto in life. Yeah, I agree. I can also maybe sidestep with King H2 at some point. So he's got good pieces. I'm sure Black is much better, but it's not as easy as it looks. Oh, he goes Queen C2. Wow. Um. Okay, so I trade. I'm still worse, but now I now the worst is gone. Now, now the worst is definitely passed. I think. Um. Uh, I just have to figure out how to play. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know about rook h yeah let's just play rook h2 because of rookie two i can play g3 okay let's let's see now let's go g3 try to exchange one set of rooks i'm still worse but if we exchange rooks i can play like rook d1 and use the pass d pawn <clears throat> plays rookie two i've got rook b1 rook c1 rook d1 i think i'm gonna play um the or d5 or knight of three. No, knight of three makes no sense. Let's think. I'll just play rook c1. Oh, but he can just take. He misses it, luckily. So let's go um, let's Go knight of three. Rook c7, hit the pawn. I really need to advance this d pawn at some point. Um, thank you, Younger, for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Um, got rook e3 or rook a2, really. Um, Goes bishop d3. If I go d5, d6. Yeah, let's just go d6, d7, rook c8. Um, I think bishop d3 was a bad move. So 11 and 0, gonna try. So the, I'm gonna go d6, d7, and and Krikor has lost the thread now. So, so he's getting low on time. Um. It's all going very wrong for Crickcord this game. Uh, okay, so probably I'm about to win another game in a row that would make it 12. Is D5 a move or pre-move? I did not pre-move. So if I pre-move on the screen, you'll see the move. Like that's not a pre-move either. I just use 0.5 or 0.2 or whatever it is because I'm uh, just very, very good at using my mouse. Um, so next game. Okay, playing a uh, Tinsios FM 2700, a dangerous opponent as well. So let's play Bishop G7. 72 minutes left. Let's play C5, maybe Knight C6. Put pressure on the pawn, maybe Queen A5. Although I like D5 with ideas of Bishop G4. C3, okay, let's just play E5. Let's just open it up. He takes the pawn, which actually kind of makes me happy. Now I'll go Knight E7. Um, might be d2. Let's just play b6. Try to exchange these pawns. Take with the pawn of c4. I've always got e4. I think I'll just castle first, though. Play like bishop e6. <clears throat> play rook c8. e4 is a huge threat here. Queen c7. Let's play e4. Knight d4. I just take when a pawn. If knight e1, maybe I just go caveman. Let's go caveman. f5, f4, d4 ideas. Um, let's just go full on caveman. Takes. Uh, play queen b7 and rook f8. Wong caveman, bishop e5 is an idea here. Uh, really, I just want to mate him on f2 or h2. <clears throat> g3, rook f7. Bishop g4, I think I will just take. Knight e5, knight e3, knight f3. Juicy squares abound everywhere in the position for me. Chesspay says, if I get to a 20-game streak, I'll donate 20 subs. Okay, Chesspay. So I'll try to get to a 50-game streak by the end, though. So Chesspay has to donate uh, 50 subs. Play knight d3. Um, <clears throat> I can take f2. I can take b2. Taking b2 is pretty obvious. Let's just take b2. Um, just grab queen e5, maybe. Yeah, let's just play queen e5, play an end game. I got my pawn back. I'm going to go d4. Uh, let's just play d4. Chess base says, who put you in charge? Yeah, I just need to get to a 50 game streak by the end. Am I am I right? Can I get an am I right, you guys? Am I right? Play queen a5. <clears throat> I, I would say if I can get to a 100 game streak, but 100 games is, is just flat out impossible in, um, in, uh, in two hours. Just literally not possible against this field. D3 is a threat. He can't take because he hangs the rook. Um, actually, fi even 50 is probably impossible. I don't think I can even get to 50. 50 feels impossible too. Because in two hours to win 50, where games can go six minutes, eh. Yeah, that, that's too much. That's too much. 50, 50 is too much. Yeah, 50, 50 is just not possible either. Maybe you guys play like 2300s every game, but yeah, it's not realistic. Knight d4, knight f3 is coming. Um, thank you much, my friend. 
I mean, I've also got checkmate here. So we're about to win another game, get up to 13 in a row. Check and mate, GG my friend, let's go again, 13 in a row. Um, <clears throat> yeah, 20 is definitely possible, 50 just, I mean, I feel like I'm going a really, really fast clip right now anyway, and I'm still woefully short of uh, 50. Because 50 means 25 games in an hour, which means 25 divided by 60. Yeah, I need you need to get to 50. You need to win every game in like three minutes or less. That's not realistic. Okay, let's go knight c3. 21 30. Let's try to sauce this guy in like two minutes if we can. Play knight e2. Um, probably knight f3. Let's just go d4. F4. Um, let's just play knight f3, knight g3, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get aggressive here. Let's go all in. Try to just sauce this guy with f5 if we can. Um, let's just go f5. Takes, takes. Knight g3. Support the pawn. Um, he plays e6 now. I'll obviously, play f6 and just like h4. Very, very passive pieces here. I'm gonna be attacking on the uh, king side. h6 is coming because of this. Uh, let's go rook h7. Knight g5 is coming. Let's go knight g5. He's trying hard. He's trying valiantly to hang on. Um, and so far, he's doing a good job. Let's go. Okay, he goes bishop a6. Interesting. Okay, let's take and play a3. Maybe queen d3, knight e2 are ideas as well. I don't want him getting knight b4, so that's why I played um, a3. Scott Chess says, I thought being sauced is being drunk. Well, sauced is a new term in Fortnite. Um, uh, sauced is, is a Fortnite term that I saw Tifu using, so that's why I'm using it now. So it does not mean being drunk. I think traditionally you are right that being sauced does mean being drunk. Um, but all the Fortnite guys are using the term. Queen b3 is a good move. Let's play rook c1. I couldn't take the, I hang the bishop. Uh, but he also doesn't get to develop the rook anymore. So I like my position here. Um, that's a slight, adva slight advantage if I, if I ever saw one. <laughs> Bergmeier says he car on the Fortnite kick. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Oh, so the only problem here is my knight. He's, he's a little bit passive. I think I'll play like uh, king f2. Maybe rook h1, rook h8 is an idea. I mean, maybe he's going, he's not going b5. So I just need to remaneuver my knight. So now I'll go queen d3, knight e2, knight f4, and then I'm going to sauce him on e6 or f7. Um, maybe just knight e2. If b4, I'm just going to chuck a pawn with b3. Let's just go b3. Now I'm giving up a pawn, but now the knight dies on a6. It, is, it, it has literally no access it really desperately needed error getting to b4 and d3 now it's just basically a dead piece no access the rook dominates it i have my queen keeping an eye on it queen is off sides on a3 knight f4 is coming knight e6 knight f7 knight g6 knight d5 everything's about to collapse on black the uh, black king here so this should be another win pretty quickly hopefully um good knight f4 He's got queen b5, obviously, but now I think I can take and take. Even rook c8 is coming. Okay, goes knight c7, trying desperately to hang on. Knight g6 looks... Or, or rook c7. I mean, I've got ideas because of this pin. They're all, all ideas are winning here. Um, what do I want to do, though? Let's just take here. Fg6, I take the knight. If rook g6, I'm going to go knight f7 and, and uh, win the rook on g6. All lines are winning. I mean, I don't know which one's best. This seems like the simplest way. Uh, um, he's deep in the tank again, so should be another quick win here, hopefully. Um, again, I've built a massive lead. I think this, whoa. Okay, let's just take. Um, Plays King F8. There's got to be a puzzle rush in here somewhere. Um, uh, there's got to be a puzzle rush in here. Um, let's just let's just go for the simple clean way. I'll just take. Um, he'll take. I'll take. Or actually, I've got Queen H7. And oh, whatever. Who cares? If takes, I have Queen H7 and Queen E7 mate. Um, if he takes on G4, probably Queen H7 anyway. Okay, um, yeah, queen h7 looks pretty crushing. He gets one check on e4, but I just go king f3 and bishop h6. This doesn't really concern me. Um, I think knight d6 wins. Knight h6 also probably wins. Knight d6 is the cleanest. He can't really stop both mates here. They're mates on e7 and f7. 
So next game coming up, we're about to win another game. Um, everything was winning, you guys. Everything was winning. So okay, I just take. Okay, I'm threat still threatening me. He resigns. Next game, 14 in a row. So we're we're six away from 20. Building a very big advantage here. So I think this guy is the next closest player. Uh, but I think I don't know if he's actually streaming. Um, but maybe next. Okay, another 23.79. Uh, evidently, it looks like the chess.com algorithm wants to give me a, wants to give me a shot at getting the 20 gifted subs from chess base. So, um, so, so yeah, let's play queen h5, knight d6, bishop b3. In Memphis, let's go knight b5, hit the knight. Uh, queen f3, this is the Frankenstein Dracula. Okay, queen d5. Queen c7, knight e7, I win a rook, but it's very, very messy. Um, Chess base is I have to talk to someone. Well, I mean, it's it's only a few games, like to be fair. Let's take take. This is um I feel like Queen Is it Queen F3 that's right? I mean, I don't actually know why I play this. I'll play Queen F3 and Knight B6. Just grab. I'll take and I'll play like I think I'll play Queen H3 this game. Knight E2. Um C3 also looks relatively okay. Let's play C3 and just takes takes. Hikaru and Magnus are my heroes. Gary is my god. Fair enough. Gary is a pretty good god to have. I'm not going to lie. Play 92, d4. Um, Gary, Gary, of course, is... Uh, Eric is tilted. Okay, let's just go d4. I'm already just winning. I've got an open A file here. So even though I give up the pawn... Oh, shoot. He's got 95, but I've got queen g3. He misses it. Let's go queen d4. Hit the pawn. Hit the rook. Rook 8 at some point. It's all good. Number two on the list is not streaming. I assume Pedro Martinez is the next closest guy who's streaming. Um, I think, oh wait, no, check. He can just take, he's got knight of three. Let's just, um, let's just take. Play bishop f4, hit the queen. Rook a8 maybe, knight f4 maybe. This is all really, really nice. Either Pedro or Alexander L are in second place by, uh, by streaming. Eric is mad. But I mean, somebody tell Eric that he should not have started Arena Kings like a half hour late. I mean, you start half hour late, Nothing good is going to come from that. Like, just nothing good is going to come from 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 uh, from uh, starting late. We're still on the streak. Yeah, 14 in a row, trying to make it 15 right now. Um, queen d6. Let's just trade. Bishop c5. And I'm just up in exchange. I'm up a bunch of pawns as well. I think I'll just castle hit the knight of bishop h6. Just f4. D7 is hanging. Let's uh, make a check. King e5. I have bishop d4. Pick up the rook on h8. Just bishop d4 back and bishop e3. No, bishop h6, funny business coming up. Let's just play bishop e3, free move. Just b4, knight f2, I'll just take. c4 is coming. f4, let's go bishop a7. I've got rook d3 check now as well. Maybe just b5 and rook d5 looks pretty good. Um, let's just take. Let's go rook e5. Knight f2. Or. Okay, please, let's just sack. Let's just sack it up. King d2. Um, let's play bishop e3. No nonsense now. And just like h3. Bring the rook over and run these bad boys up the board. b4, b5 is coming. Rook g4 is coming. And it's just game over here. Okay, next game. 15 in a row. Five to go. Um, don't sauce this up. Don't sauce it up. Okay, 15 in a row, 57 points. I think Lenderman's got to be second. He's already so far behind me. Um, he's like, what is he? He's like 23 points behind me already. So 24, 22. Let's try to make it 16. <clears throat> Go C5. Takes F5. Follow Nirano says it looks so obvious while Hikaru is playing. Yeah, I mean, I know it looks obvious. Like, like I was saying, um, like I was saying, you guys, uh, it's just like when, when I watch Fortnite, it's no different. I watch Fortnite, I'm like, oh man, like I see Tifu building, I'm like, okay, that doesn't look so special. I can do that too, but it never quite seems to work out that way. So let's just take, um, I can castle both ways. I think I'll play 94 though, hit the pawn on a C3. <clears throat> if takes, I take, I'll pre-move FE4. I don't know if he'll take, but yeah, I mean, it's just, that's the great thing is having watched Fortnite, it's like, you know, as a chess player, you're like, okay, what's so special? Like, you know, I get everyone can't do what I'm doing, but you don't really understand it until you play other games and you watch, like, you watch the, the pros at the other games and you watch them do that. And then when you try to, you can't do it. It's like, until you actually do that, I mean, I honestly don't understand it. I didn't understand it because it's like, okay, everyone's like, you know, you you make it look so easy. And I mean, I understand that I do, but it's like, 
Uh, let's play rookie eight. But like until you actually play a game that you're just trash at, that's only when you begin to understand how amazing it is what you do at chess. Um, okay, queen c2, he wants to take e4. I can play rook f5. Queen a4 looks reasonable too. Um, yeah, let's play or rook f5. Let's just go queen a4. If takes, I'll take and take on e6. Just take. Just take. If queen a7, I've got knight d5 here. Or knight c4. Maybe knight c4 is better, actually. Um, no, let's go knight d5, hit the pawn. I'm also hitting e2. I've got rook f5, rook e8. Now e7 doesn't hang. Um, I've also, yeah, queen e2 is very strong. Rook e8 is very strong. I like my position here. Um, Okay, bishop h6, but now I think I throw the in-between rook a8. I throw the spammer in. I've got rook, rook b8 next move. Um, and then I just go knight c3, and the house is starting to collapse again for white. Play rook b8. Uh, rook b6 doesn't work, so I'm just going to grab the pawn here. Both pawns are under attack. Um, like my position quite a bit here. So this looks really, really nice here. Um, White's pawns are weak. Yeah, he plays e3, which I kind of foresaw. Um, or foresaw? No, not foresaw. Um, I, okay, let's play queen e4, force queens off the board. Bad bishop. I've got an awesome connect three here. He's got iso, bad bishop. Everything is great here. Um, so about to win another game, make it 16 in a row. Um, He's very, very slow here, thinking a lot, but this is going to be another win. Um, Forza, no, I, it's um, not Forza, <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, dude, what is that? Okay, 92 is checkmate, 16 in a row, four more to go. 